Titian Vesselio was an Italian painter who lived through the Renaissance. He was born on August 27, 1576, in Pieve di Cador, Italy. He is known for being the father of modern art. His father, Gregorio, was a military man. He actively did service for uh, the Italian army. His brother, Francesco, was also a painter. He never got anywhere near as how famous Titian was, though. When Titian was young, 12 years old to be exact, he learned how to do art from several people. He was an apprentice to Sebastiano Zucado, Cantile Bellini, and Cantile's brother, Giovanni Bellini. His most important trainer was Giorgione. He gave him his early art style and shaped him into what he is what he was uh, later in his life. Titian and Giorgione were very close. They were actually so close that one of their paintings got mistaken for the other. One of Titian's paintings was mistaken as one of Giorgione's. After Giorgione's death in 1510, uh, Titian set off to Rome to launch his independent career. A year after he arrived there, he was already famous. Titian had become known as a portraitist. In 1516, he started his professional relationship with Alfonso E. Deste, the Duke of Ferrara. He employed the most famous painters of all time at the time, which included Raphael Doso Dosi and Fra Bartolomeo. They were all eventually Titian's proper rivals in the end. They respected each other a lot for their ingenuity and artwork. In 1525, he married Cecilia. She tragically died five years later. They had three children, Pompeo, Orazio, and Lavinia. Lavinia sadly died at childbirth. Orazio actually uh, took heritage from his father and also painted his paintings were thought to be uh, just a little inferior to his father's. In 1530, Titian met Holy Roman Emperor Charles V. This meeting was a very important point in his life, because painting for the Holy Roman Emperor instantly skyrocketed his fame and career. Titian painted him a full-length, life-size portrait of him. This was a very daring move back then, and even now. I mean, imagine doing an entire seven or eight foot tall painting. Sadly, the original piece is now lost. On screen, you can see what it looked like. Once Titian got old, he had brushed almost all the paintings he could. He created a final art piece for himself. Uh, the Pieta was an art piece he created for his tomb once he died. In 1576, he died of the plague. During his lifetime, he painted about 255 artworks, that most famous including Venus of Urbino, Sacred and Profane Love, and the Pieta. Here you can see my favorite of Titian's paintings. Its name is Man with a Glove. There isn't really too much context behind it, I think. It's just a man with a glove. And, I don't know, it's simplicity. I just love it for its simplicity. Here is the bibliography of the websites that I used to find the information for this video. Thank you for watching.